Now, one quick word, I guess, before we leave this, and this is looking really specifically at the effects of temperature. Now, we're going to look at temperature in a little bit more detail um, in future videos because temperature is a very important factor when we're looking at equilibrium systems. This distribution that you can see on the um, slide here is called the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. And you can see that there's a point where um, we always talk about the average kinetic energy of the particles. And whether or not the average kinetic energy of the particles uh, will be greater than the energy of activation, that is the energy that's needed for the particles to react. In any given system, we have a certain value that represents the activation energy, the energy above which particles that collide will react to form the product, or if their products will react to form the reactants. But how do we change this value? Well, there are two ways that we can change this value. The first we already know about is the use of a catalyst. What the use of a catalyst does is it basically just brings down the amount of activation energy. So what it does is if I just sort of artificially just drop this to a certain point and say this is the new energy of activation without doing anything else, what I now have is a much larger group of particles that have sufficient energy in order for them to react and therefore they will, um, they will react. And that's the advantage of adding the catalyst. An alternative to this is to increase the temperature. Now, changing the temperature um, doesn't just shift the whole graph uh, forward, if you like. What it does is it changes its shape somewhat as well. So there will still be a slight um, skew on this graph. I've kind of drawn it a little bit too symmetrical. But what you will notice is the peak has certainly shifted forward. That increase in temperature changes not only the um, average kinetic energy of the particles, it also changes the, uh, increases the average, it also changes the shape of the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. And that means you have a much larger number of particles with sufficient energy in order for them, even if that uh, activation energy is the same, um, that we now have a much larger number of particles that are now able to um, react because they have sufficient energy to overcome the energy of activation.